All right, so we've got this whole setup going on here. I have my blue part, which is grounded. I cannot move it. Next thing I want to do is I want to start assembling. So if I go up to here where it says assemble, I can find something that says constraint here. We're just going to be going over the first two kind of assemblies here. We're going to go over mate and flush. Okay, so mate and flush are two totally separate ways to assemble, uh, but they are going to be one of the most common uh, constraints that we do use. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, mate this edge with my blue part. I'm going to start off with doing everything with my blue part first and then I'm going to assemble everything to that. All right, apply. Now, I know that this part is not going to be facing down like this, but I'm not concerned at this point. Okay? Because as I add more constraints, it will lock into place. All right? So I'm going to go flush this bottom right here. As long as we have all of our constraints correct, it will move it. I'm going to go flush right here to here. All right. So I've got this one locked in. If you accidentally mess up, it's not a big deal. You can click the plus on the navigation and you can see all the different mates and flushes that you had. So if you messed up, you can just click it, right click, delete. All right, and then it's free again. All right, so that's just the basics behind mate and flush. Uh, really quick and easy, uh, shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Alright, the next video that we're going to show is going to be how to make an exploded view after we assemble all of our parts together.